Hello, welcome to the Doing It Is channel. We are today we are going to create a tooltip using only CS3. CSS3. Normally we would want to use JavaScript in order to create a tooltip, but with CSS3, this task is a pretty simple task to do. So let's get started. Uh, I have opened up my brackets code editor and I have put a live uh, live review on Google Chrome. So the <clears throat> the text that we want is we can create a simple anchor tag with a class of tooltip. Let's say I put some hover over me. Next, we would want another element, a span element, with the class of tip. And here we are going to put in the text that we will see in our tooltip. So tooltip text. Okay, it looks like this right now. Let's add our styles to this. First, let's make the tooltip class position relative. This way, we can absolutely position the tip class. So the tip class is going to be absolute position absolute absolute and it's going to be a display block element like a block element white space is going to be no wrap this means that uh, the whole of the text in the span will be showing in one line it won't it won't break down to the next line that is how you do that use no wrap in white space so is it index one so that it shows above everything else and a left push in left of 100% and bottom 0% uh, we will give a font size of 0.8 tm just to make make it smaller than the regular font sizes and we are going to give a background color of Three, four, four, five, nine, five, and E. Okay, so next font color should be white, and give it a padding of one em. Okay, it looks like that right now. So we'll give a border radius, make it a little bit rounder. Radius of 1 em so okay so it looks like that let's give the margin left so that it's not right next to the element uh, margin left of one and uh, okay that's it and of course we have to make opacity zero so that it will not be visible hidden and Okay, let's comment these things out for now so that you will be able to see how we create our point. We have created a small point so that it will look like a speech bubble. So I'm going to use a uh, pseudo element for this. So tip before I want, of course, the portion should be absolute content should be blank border style border style is solid and border width is going to be 0.5 rem 0.625 rem and 0.5 rem and 0 okay next we can break it right 100% and the background color of the same color of the to tip class and 
I'm going to make a calculation bottom calc 50% and minus the 0 0.5 REM so it will be on the center of the two tip class and I'm going to give border color of transparent oops I made a small mistake we are not setting a background color but we are setting a border color sorry about that transparent and the next one is also transparent Okay, that's how it looks so yeah that will do for now you can add other classes if you want so now let's remove the opacity and comment this so that we will hide it when it starts next we have create when the when we hover over the tooltip class we have to make the opacity to 1 and the visibility to visible okay so that works I have to hover over it so that you can see it so hovering over it and there you go so we are going to give it a transition as well transition all in 0 0.3 seconds I want to do that so I will make the tip class transition as well so here's how it looks there you go so I'm going to give it a margin left as well margin left of 1 REM so REM stands for the root uh, font size uh, EM stands for the nearby font size if there is a nearby font size given relative to that and uh, this is for the root uh, root font size okay and that's it that's our tooltip so you can easily create another tooltip let's copy this and put on a break tag and paste it and Another tooltip. Oops. Another tooltip. So, if any of you are in the application, all you do is give it a. Uh, if you want to create a tooltip, just give it a class of tooltip for the main element, and create a span with the class of tip, and add your text here. That's it. It will work great. So there you go. Uh, that is the first lesson of CSS3 playlist so do subscribe for other tutorials coming up to the doing it is channel and i'll see you next time have a good day take care and bye